guys, I hope you're all doing well. Today we'll be discussing a nuanced topic which resides around etiquette, sportsmanship and unspoken rules. Hi, I'm Kush Vaja. I play table tennis for the state team and I love to give my take on it through videos. Without further ado, let's get into it. The first and arguably the most common unspoken rule resides around nets and edges. A lot of times you'll hit the ball and then it'll touch the net and then touch the opponent's side or it'll just hit the edge. As frustrating as it can be if it happens a lot against you, there's not really much we can do about it. So in most cases when this happens, it's customary to lift your index finger up like this uh, as a sign of apology. This is because the point was won due to luck rather than skill. Some players might decide to say sorry when this happens to their opponent. If you celebrate a lucky point then oftentimes you're going to anger the opponent. That is, unless they know you're joking and having a little bit of a laugh. Never celebrate lucky points in tournaments. The same applies for spectators. Sometimes a parent or a friend of my opponent will clap a lucky point against me and honestly it's just kind of annoying. This leads me on to the second unspoken rule which is about excessive celebration. A lot of players, including professionals, will shout in celebration. They might say cho or something to keep their confidence up and their momentum going. While celebration is good, excessive celebration or loud celebration is often frowned upon. Celebrating an opponent's fault is also simply unacceptable. However, I do like to poke a little bit of fun at my friends sometimes. When they miss a serve, I sometimes start celebrating excessively. That's just for fun, but I highly advise against this in tournaments. There will always be debate on how much celebration is respectful and acceptable, but a general guideline is to not scream. The next unspoken rule resides around shaking hands, or if you can call it that nowadays. This is a very nuanced topic that we're about to dive into, just saying. So as with any handshake, you're meant to shake their head firmly and look them in the eye and give them perhaps a nod of respect. But especially in the last few years, it's changed a lot. Some people advocated for elbow touching because of the virus, and some people advocated for fist bumping. Now the recommendation has been changed back to a handshake because the virus is gone and I think it's the highest form of respect. Recently, a lot of times when I play older players, this is not really an issue, but when I play younger players around my age or younger, they often just slap my hand when I try and go for a real handshake. Or well, their hand is just there, they're not really like shaking your hand. I think people forgot that the proper etiquette is to grip the hand and shake it. And when it comes to not shaking hands, it's generally unacceptable. What a lot of people fail to acknowledge is that you also have to shake the hands of the umpire and the opponent's coach. So the next time you finish your match, don't forget to give them a handshake too. The final unspoken rule that I want to touch on today is practice before matches. During the warm-up, don't try and win the point, it's just kind of annoying and disrespectful. This isn't really a problem for seasoned players, but with beginners, sometimes they fail to kick the ball in the same place or just try and end the rally instantly. If you watch the pros before their matches, the structure generally goes like this. Assuming they're both right-handed, they start with forehand to forehand counter hitting for 20 seconds. Then one person starts looping for 20 seconds and the other person blocks. And then they swap over and then the other person starts looping. And then that goes for a total of one minute and then they do the same thing with the backhand. So guys, those were the four most common unspoken rules that came to my mind. If you think of any other unspoken rules or etiquettes, then leave them down in the comments. I'll be very eager to see them, I hope you enjoyed this video and give it a like, subscribe, I'll see you in the next one.